I'm going to work a problem that involves Newton's laws of motion, in particular Newton's second law of motion, which is that relationship connection between the net total force that acts on an object and the resulting acceleration of that object and the inertia or mass of that object. So that's F equals MA, Newton's second law. So in this particular problem, we've got a person standing on weighing scales. Now, normally when you stand on weighing scales or I stand on weighing scales, uh, those weighing scales read our weight, measure our weight. In this case, the weighing scales are in the elevator. And if you've got weighing scales in an elevator and you stand on the weighing scales, the weighing scales may read more than your weight or less than your weight, depending on the elevators and your acceleration. For example, if you're accelerating upwards, the weighing scales read a larger force a greater force because the weighing scales not only have to support your weight, but also accelerate you upwards. If you're in the elevator on the weighing scales and it's accelerating downwards, then the weighing scales would read a, read a number that's smaller than your weight. Because in that case, they don't need to support you with the full, uh, a force that's equal to your weight they can support you with a force that's less than your weight, which allows you to accelerate downwards. There's an important point here that the weight scales in your bathroom record your weight because they're, they and you are not accelerating up and down. But weighing scales in a elevator can read more or less than your weight depending on whether you and the scales and the elevator are accelerating up and down. Okay, let's draw a picture of this problem, enough chatting and talking. Here's the mat, the rectangular mat. And there are two forces that we need to worry about that are acting on the rectangular mat. There's the force of gravity downwards. And so I'll just use FG to indicate that. And here I'm thinking about just its size. And then there's the um, force of the weighing scales upwards. And I'll indicate that with this FS. Now, in the case of the force to the weighing scales, we're told that the scales read 825 newtons. That's the force they exert. In the case of gravity, we're told the mass of the man is 75 kilograms. And so if we just multiply that mass by the acceleration of gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared, then that gives us the force of gravity. And I worked that out already. That was 735 newtons. So that's, that's the downwards force of gravity. And just to be clear here, FS, FG, I'm just meaning the sizes of these forces. Gravitational forces downwards, the, the Wayne scale forces upwards. So they're in opposite directions. And the important point here is that unlike for the Wayne scales in your bathroom, where these two forces would be equal and opposite. The weighing scales in the elevator, if it's accelerating, are not equal and opposite. And you see here that the force of the scales is a little larger, it's 825 newtons, than the force of gravity, it's 70, 735 newtons. So there'll be a net force that's upwards. And that's what's causing you to accelerate upwards as the elevator and the weighing scales also accelerate upwards. And so there's going to be a net force here. And the way that we're going to find the acceleration of the elevator is to find the acceleration of you or the man 
and we're going to find the acceleration of you or the man by finding the force, the net force on you or the man. So let's do the net force first. The net force is the sum of the forces acting. Uh, there's a downwards force of gravity and a upwards force of the uh, scales. So FG and FS are the sizes, and I've got a minus and a plus sign for the directions here. And so we can feed the numbers in. I've got minus 735 newtons, and I've got plus 825 newtons. I can do this one in my head. That's 90 newtons upwards. That's the net force that's acting on the man. The acceleration of the man then is determined by Newton's second law. It's in proportion to the force, in inverse proportion to his inertia. His net force is 90 Newtons. His mass was 75 kilograms. And if we divide one by the other, that comes out to be 1.2 meters per second squared. And that's the man's acceleration and the Wayne scale's acceleration and the um, elevator's acceleration. So they're all accelerating upwards. As I say, if the, if the force read on the weighing scales was less than the man's weight, the elevator would be accelerating downwards because the force on the exerted by the weighing scales is greater than the man's weight. We know that it's accelerating upwards. So this is an upwards, upwards acceleration in the, in the positive direction.